speak about their wickedness, man. But they quick to point fingers and then they say, nah, nah, you niggas don't gotta get on Esau. Nah, we ain't gonna get on Esau. We're gonna get on you niggas. So the white man gets a pass. Esau gets a pass. See, you hear him trying to say, oh, man, the white man gets a pass, but the Esau gets a pass. No, y'all just want the spotlight off of y'all, man, because you ain't looking good, man. The scriptures say in Isaiah 58 and 1, cry loud, spare not, show my people their transgressions, man. Micah 3 and 8 tell you I am filled, filled with the spirit and power of the Lord and of judgment to rightfully declare Jacob their sins, man. And you guys are supposed to be teaching the word, man. And you going off in a lot of ways. And your whole thing is to condemn other Israelites, brothers who's doing the work. And then the nigga talking about, yeah, them, these guys in the world, basically two-third niggas, we look down on them. But those are the real men of the Lord. The Lord going to raise them up and they going to be the men of the Lord. That is prophecy. That is prophecy. But those are the real men of the Lord. The Lord going to raise them up and they going to be the men of the Lord. That is prophecy. Just heard this man state that he looked down on them brothers that's about to wake up or whatever that's out in the, out in the world right now. I guess you're King David, right? Mm -hmm. Amongst these guys, all these brothers in the world, y'all look. We look down on them niggas because they being wicked. We look down on them niggas because they being wicked. So now you just heard this man state that he looked down on them brothers that's about to wake up or whatever that's out in the out in the world right now. He said they look down on them because they being wicked. All right. Now, God be merciful to me, a sinner. I tell you, this man went down to his house justified rather than the other. For everyone that exalteth himself shall be abased, and he that humbleth himself shall be exalted. Now, what did you just hear here, man? You just hearing this guy go on, man, and he's proving himself that he is a Pharisee. The end of this world. That's what. That's the focus right now. We almost out of here. But you niggas, they're trying to sit back the car. Well, nah, all you niggas that's in there, y'all wicked, you camps are wicked. The Lord is going to raise up a whole. So that means we got to wait for, that means we got to wait. That means whoever it is, the Lord is about to seal the elect. These niggas are talking about, nah, the elect is going to come. That be that proves right there you niggas don't want America to be destroyed. Y'all like this confusion. Y'all like this shit. See, this man don't give a damn about our people, man. That means we got to wait. See, he trying to skip over the whole entire prophecy. I want to give all the praises and the honor to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah Bahashem, Racha Ha Kwadash, and double honors to the elder apostles and elder bishops of Great Millstone, honors as well. To the rest of you fellow believers, and let me mainly say Shalom to the elect, because that's what we're going into. Um, anyway, this video is titled Apostle Rakar of GMS is going off uh, when I saw that. Now this guy is the former head of a camp and um, he knew the truth so I'm just going to dive into it because of the doctrine and you know it's all about defending the doctrine and this apparently this guy is going off. So uh, I'm going to dive into it. First couple things well the first thing he said is um the prophecies is two thirds will be raised up, and Apostle Rakal, I believe, said, "The hell with the two thirds." If I'm not mistaken, that's what I heard him say, and he said, "You know, we can't be concerned about the two thirds." And he said, "Well, this is prophecy." Well, if they are two third, then why would we be concerned about them waking up if they are two third? Yeah, so that's. Pretty much what he said. Apostle Rakal said the two third niggas we look down on them, and he said, but they claim that they're the men of the Lord. These guys from the spiritual lesson, and he said, you heard it. That is prophecy. You know, that's not prophecy, because if they're two thirds, they're not going to wake up, right? Why do you think we go out every week? You know, what is the purpose of that? We're not going out. For exactly the two-thirds we're going out 
to try to reach the elect. And if we can reach the elect out of the two thirds, because we don't know who the elect is. So Isaiah 55, he quoted that says, cry aloud, spare not, lift up thy voice like a trumpet and shew my people their transgression. And that's what we're doing to these guys. We're showing you your transgression. And the house of Jacob, their sins, right? So is the whole house of Jacob going to be delivered? Absolutely not. This is going into the elect of the Israelites, right? Now, I know that I'm ashamed for the things I've done before I come into the truth. And this, the spiritual shaming came even when I was looking at videos and I was all over the place with different groups and I was kicked into high gear and I came into where I felt I needed to be through the spirit. But um, we're going to go into that too a little bit. So I, I don't, I don't get his logic or what he's speaking about. I mean, this is just reaching. I think I, I don't, he should know what apostle recall is talking about. Sometimes you just get, you know, really bitter and you say things that, you know, anyway, uh, and I'm also going to get a comment, a couple of comments on that channel. Okay. So let's go to Titus. Let's go to Titus two, uh, two and was it second Timothy four and two. It says, preach the word, be instant in season, out of season, reprove, rebuke, exhort with all long suffering and doctrine. So when you look at this word, Reprove, it means to convict, generally suggestion of shame of a person convicted. This is what it says. To bring to light, to expose, to find fault with, to correct, to reprimand, or reprehend severely, shied, uh, shied, admonish, reprove, right? So we're going to go into shame. What shame mean, right? It says shame means a painful emotional cause, a painful emotion caused by conscious consciousness of guilt, shortcoming, or impropriety. Right? Let me go to the condition of humiliating, uh, disgrace, or disrepute. Let's go to. Let me go to this word impropriety. It says uh, an improper or in in uh, indecorous act of remark, an unaccept an accept unacceptable use of a word or of a language. <laughs> this is what it says. So it goes back here to say a condition of humiliating or disgrace, the disrepute, the uh, disrepute. A painful caution, uh, a consciousness of guilt, shortcoming, or impropriety. Ignominy. Let me see what that say. Ignominy. Ignominy. Okay. Ignominy. Says deep personal humiliation and disgrace. Disgraceful, dishonorable. Con you get the, uh, the concept. Um, so we also going to go ahead and get Jeremiah 14. In fact... No, we're not going to get that yet. We're going to go over here. Um, let's go over here to cry aloud. Let me see. Cry aloud. Spare not. Right? Spare not. H2820. Let's see what that says. It says to withhold, to restrain, hold back, keep in check, to refrain. Right? So this is spare, but then you have spare not, mean not to withhold, not to restrain or hold back, you know, keep in check to refrain. Now what's interesting is I went to the, when you scroll down in the blue letter, I went to the actual references of that scripture. Um, when it says cry aloud, spare not, let's go to Jeremiah. Uh, let's go to Jeremiah 14 and looks like 10. Thus saith the Lord unto this people, thus have loved to wander, right? Thus, thus have they loved to wander. They have not reframed their feet 
therefore the Lord doth not accept them. You know, Yahweh Shah said, He is not with me, is against me, right? He will not remember their he will now remember their iniquity and visit their sins. Then saith uh, said the Lord unto me, Pray not for this people, for their good. When they fast, I will not hear their cry. And when they offer burnt offerings and oblation, I will not accept them. But I will consume them by the sword and by the famine and by the pestilence. You can also see this in Lamentations, I believe, the second chapter or maybe second and the fourth chapter. We've seen, you know, this is kind of going into that. And um, it was basically the same thing. Their iniquity have been accomplished. Don't pray for them because guess what? Hell's going to come on them. See, the thing about the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, he set up a group of people, which mainly is us, I believe, and there's other Israelite groups teaching as well. We're the ones out on the hedges pushing this work, and all the people, everybody has heard about this truth. So there's not going to be an excuse where I, I didn't know, I didn't know about those Hebrews, right? I didn't know about being a Hebrew Israelite. And these people hate us, right? They hated Yahweh Shah. Come on, man. You know the history. You know the history. Ain't nothing new under the sun. Matthew 22 and 9. Go ye therefore to the highways as many as you shall find. Bid to the marriage. So I don't know the concept of the mindset of the ideology of the day society, Western culture, of how they see to do things, but we have to be men Scripture says, be ye men. We have to be men on how we we do things. Now, true, we don't have to curse everybody out. That's not always the case. Some brothers got different spirits. Some brothers do certain things certain ways. We had a 72-year-old man come up today, and he said he didn't really believe the Bible because of too many translations. Then we, and about King James, then we showed you, we showed him about King James is not even in there. It was just an authorized translator. And a lot of those translations say the same thing. So we brought up some scriptures and showed it to him. And he walked away a believer in the Bible. Whether he gets it or not, I don't know. But it's we're doing the job. Now the two-third that's walking by smoking those blunts, not that they can't wake up. But it's not likely that they'll get it. Now if they do get it, they do. But a lot of times it's in a suggestion of shame that people get it. Right? And sometimes... You know, it's other ways about, you know, going about people waking up. It just all depends. Like, we didn't have no special um, therapist or psychiatrist sitting around saying, uh, this is how you do this and this is how you do that. If the, if the truth hits you, it's going to resonate and you're gonna, it's going to click, right? So, we don't sit up there and we see thousands of so-called blacks and Hispanics walking up down the street. We just cursing them out. I don't know where, what they're talking about. If they're going off, we're saying, hey, you're going off. Get your ass right, such and such and such. But directly walking up to people, you know, cursing so-called black people out. Nah, we just go out on the highways and we say, you so-called blacks, Latino, you, you, you um, lost sheep or you ones that want to be wicked. Well, you die in your iniquity. And that's all really has to be said, and that's all we pretty much say. So let's go to this comment. I want to go strictly here by Bishop Melchizedek. Now, he's a guy that he came on my page and said he's doing the work, and he's this and that, and uh, he give it to GMS, they out doing the work, but then he's here, you know? And that's up to him. You know, I have no hatred. But... You might not agree with things. That's all right, because that's what it is. We, we can't force you to believe exactly what we believe. But the scripture says, um, basically, uh, I'm trying to remember the, uh, the scripture. It says, sound doctrine, being sound doctrine. Sound means error without error or mixture. Ephesians 4 says, one body. You know, 1 Corinthians 1 and 10 also says, let us all speak the same thing. I think it's around there. But anyway, Bishop Melchizedek says, no compassion because he is forgetful of the gospel, giving more honor to the creature, G-Mess, 
more than a crea <laughs> creator. Titus 3 and 1, put them in mind to authorities, to princi principalities and powers, to obey magistrates, to be ready for every good work. Titus 3 and 2, to speak, to speak evil of no man, to be no brawler, but gentle, shewing all meekness unto all men, right? So, let's go to this actual verse, and let's go to Titus 3, and we're in the Bible hub. The title of this chapter that he's reading goes to the obedience to authorities, right? So the mindset we must be in once we in the truth and um, the obedience, you know, the scripture says honor all men. That's true. And, you know, if you're going off, we tell you going off. We're not out there just getting on you just to get on you because we don't like you. We're getting on you and we don't like you if you're going off. We're not doing it just to be doing it. It's because you're going off. <clears throat> anyway, put them in mind uh, to subjects and principalities and powers. When you go to the uh, obedience of authorities, when you go to this word authorities, let me see here. If you could just look this up anywhere. It means the power or right to give orders, make decisions, and force obedience because this is exactly what we're talking about when you come into the truth. I have myself and many other brothers, and I'm sure the apostles, number one, uh, well, Yahweh, Yahweh Shah, and the apostles, and brothers, elders, and brothers, all seen this behavior where Jake come in, become disobedient, and this guy right here will fit this whole narrative. You mean to tell me you've been in the truth the whole time, all these years, and you didn't know what it meant to go out on the highways and hedges and deal with the people, right? Even Proverbs 4 and 14 says, enter not into the path of the wicked. Well, this is why we don't go deep in those hoods. There's going to be wicked men set for destruction. And who may receive it will receive it. And it's going to come the way it's going to come. And if they the elect, guess what? They're going to wake up. It's just that simple. So I, I don't really don't understand the video. Why would he uh, even make a video like this? I understand that you, you might be a little upset. You, you, you left or got kicked out. I don't know the case. A lot of you guys, it's a lot of these guys, their problem. That's their problem. They, uh, they get kicked out or they, they're mad. Somebody said, wow, this seed of Ben Yumyan. Wow, the GMS doctrine of men uh, has to go. Now, a lot of these guys all deal with different doctrines, but they will come on one accord. I guarantee you, a lot of these guys aren't in the same doctrine. You know? Uh, here's somebody said, bro, you need to repent. Why are you so hurt? You're lying on apostles. You really think you're doing something right. Right? I wouldn't even have left a comment there. Um, I wouldn't even left a comment because it's going to go nowhere. Ak, you need to listen to yourself. <laughs> you know, you're saying he don't care about our people. Isn't the Lord uh, only care for the elect? Are we here to save everyone? See, but I don't think he ever answered after that. Anyway, he might have, and they're going back and forth, back and forth. You know damn well the Apostle Ricard ain't sitting up here uh, uh, going past the elect. It's all about the elect. But somehow they threw it in there to make it seem like uh, we just don't, uh, uh, we're supposed to care about, I don't know what doctrine that is, that we're supposed to care about every single Israelite that's not an Israelite, that is wicked. Said, enter not into the path of the wicked. Don't go into the path of the wicked. Right? Pray not for these people for their good. You know, their iniquity is accomplished. Refrain from these evil men. There's all kinds of scriptures on that. And this is basically a ridicule because we talk about the elect. And with, when we talk about the elect, that separates a, a group of people from the rest of the people. And maybe they don't want that. I don't know. This is some weird type of video. I don't know why they even made a video like that. I'm not going to go on and on about it. I just thought this was kind of strange. That's all I have on that. Shalom.